High school was the best time of my life. The worst time of my life. Every day. I couldn't wait for school to be over so I can hang out with my friends. So I wouldn't have to see those people again. The years have gone by fast. Oh, how we have grown. Walk through the halls of any campus. Halls full of memories. Some memories of friendship and fun. But quite often, memories of harassment and being tormented. There are 1,502 students at Thunderbird High School, any of which walk on the campus and fall victim to bullying. There are six types of bullying. Verbal. Physical. Intimidation. Indirect. Social alienation. Cyberbullying. What does the school do to prevent bullying? Um, well, I, don't, I don't know what they necessarily do to prevent it. I know we sometimes um, do mediations between students so that it doesn't get out of hand. Um, we have a social worker who runs groups to, to talk about that. Um, and we sometimes have speakers. I think we've in the past had speakers. One time, I was walking home from school, and um, these kids in these cars, they just like threw some pennies at me, and none of them hit me, so I was like, whatever. But then uh, a couple of days later, they threw a rock at me, and it hit me like in my back, and it really hurt. And so uh, I had to tell someone, and they got in trouble, but it was probably my worst case of bullying ever. Okay. I used to switch schools a lot when I was a little kid. This one kid used to always steal my lunch, and throw it on the ground, and stomp on it. I was called fat when I was like 125 pounds. I was like, are you kidding me? And, you know, I'm not 125 pounds anymore, but I was. And I, that's when I was called fat, and I was pissed. And then I was self-conscious. And I was really upset for a long time. Uh, in junior high, I had a rolling backpack and just kept, as the doctor said, either one kept do do that the regular ones were hurting my back. So, uh, I was rolling it around, a lot of kids would come up and kick out it or they'd sit on it for no reason, I'd have to shake them off or whatever. It got really annoying. Did you ever do anything about it or just... I did. And shut up a kid once because he kicked my backpack. I was new at this one school and I wanted to sit with this group of girls and they were like, no, we don't let new people into our group. And I was like, okay. And when I walked away, they were just laughing at me and like calling me names and it was really nasty. So this one day, this this one girl just did this. I guess she was new or something, and she wanted to sit with us at lunch. I didn't really want her to, so we didn't let her sit with us. And I was short back in freshman year. What did people do to you? Um, freshman Friday, actually, I got thrown in the trash can. It's pretty intense, but now I'm all grown up and stuff. I've been bullied for being a different race. I don't bully them back because I just don't see the point of it. I mean, who are they to judge that right is the right color? I mean, I've never think about my color of their skin. Why should they? Exactly clear. There's a man with a gun over there. Yeah, there'd be fights sometimes, and I guess I'd be on the sidelines rooting him on, but I never really considered it bullying. I mean, two people going against each other, they're both kind of causing issues, so, I don't know, I never really saw it as, I guess, bullying. Uh, yeah, like, I see a lot of people, like, who, like, express their emotions on the internet, and a lot of people, like, since they're not used to it, they're like, oh, you're stupid for saying that, and it's like, it's their opinion, don't hurt their feelings. Honestly, I don't see cyberbullying at all. I know it happens, but I don't think it's really that big of a deal. Teenagers, 
especially in high school, are prone to cyberbullying. Cyberbullying can affect reputation as well as self-esteem. They're missing a lot. You know, they're missing a lot of classes, and maybe specific hour. They're missing a lot of one hour, and it might be that class that they're missing is the one that the kid, the bully, is they're in. Mm -hmm. and their grades will drop, and sometimes their behavior will start to get worse. And so, I, so those are some of the effects: is that they don't want to come to school, um, they isolate, they feel like you know, who wants to come to school or who wants to go to a class where this kid is going to be taunting them all the time. So they try to avoid the class, um, and. Uh, depression uh, and suicide um, or suicidal beliefs and suicidal thoughts um, will, uh, will the, the victim will have. The other problem is if kids know it exists, I mean you all are the ones that hear it all the time. You may not be the one that it's being told to, but you know it happens. So the other problem is how do we empower you all who hear it, whose friends are the ones bullying or being bullied, to step in? Like how do we give you guys that power to say, you can't, don't talk to something that way. As you walk down the hallways of your campus, look at your friends, classmates, and strangers. Keep in mind that 36% of high schoolers say that they do not feel safe at school. That means a little under half of the people you go to school with are scared to be there. But you can do something. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. I am paranoid, I'm scared of you, and I always will be. There's no stopping this. There's no stopping me